Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy, this is Will's Mountain Homestead, and we are gonna be taking part this week in the Three Rivers Challenge to see what we can use from our pantry to feed our family without having to go to the store. So yesterday I cooked an entire ham shank and it had a wonderful bone in it. And we have leftover ham from that. And then I did a crock pot of ham and bean soup using the bone and a little bit of the meat that was left on that bone. So this will be supper for tonight. And we're gonna take this ham, process it down and make ham salad for the week using our homemade mayonnaise. Now, when it comes time for summer beverages, we do a lot of sun tea and we grow a lot of our own herbs that we like to put in it. We do not sweeten our tea with anything but stevia that we grow in our garden. We put lemon balm, we'll put mint, and then eight to nine tea bags in this container here full of our filtered water and let it brew outside in the sun all day with the herbs in it and it infuses. And then we have iced tea for the next couple of days. So it's a good way to make iced tea, not have to heat up your stove and, or use the microwave or however you make tea. Um, and yeah, so we'll have sun tea then to drink for the next couple days. For right now, let's get started making our ham salad. And I just whipped up a batch of our homemade mayonnaise, which you can find in a different video. And we're gonna use that along with our leftover ham and a couple of other condiments that I've canned from last year. I like to add as many vegetables as I can from the garden. And right now, the only thing that we have growing substantially that we can pick every day are onions and lettuce and our herbs. So I went and pulled some chives out and I'm cutting up an onion. I also like to add one rib of celery to this just to give it a little bit of crunch and I do dice it up relatively on the smaller side. So I will cut it into strips first. And I know my knife skills are not appropriate, but it is what it is. So in our bowl, we have our ham our onions and our chives are in here on the bottom and our celery is in there as well. I have homemade mayonnaise and I'm gonna be using probably a half a cup of this based on how much ham I have. I'll try that much first. And then maybe a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. that a good mix. We are also adding some of my canned sweet and sour pepper relish. And relish is always a good condiment to add into ham salad and don't be afraid to go crazy with it. Probably three tablespoons is what I put in there. Mix that all up. Add just a bit of black pepper. All right. And guys, there you have our lunches for the rest of the week. And this is very transportable. My husband can take it to work. My daughter can make sandwiches and take to her three hour soccer practices. <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is a great way to use up leftover ham. So next on the list is behind me in this basket, you can see I have a ton of bananas. They're going bad. <laughs> so we're gonna make up a batch of banana bread that will be breakfast for the rest of the week. And then we're gonna take and freeze the rest of those bananas. And usually about five bananas per bag is what I do because that's what my food processor can handle and we will be making ice cream out of those bananas. 
it's a very healthy alternative compared to all of the sugar and crap that's in regular ice cream. It makes a delicious treat. So we're gonna be freezing those and making bread, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna provide you with a snapshot of the recipe that I use to make banana bread. And you can either add nuts to this or chocolate chips, whatever your family prefers, or just leave it how it is, it's up to you. Um, but it does take around an hour to bake and I usually start checking it at 50 minutes. And if it starts looking dark on the top, I put foil over top of it to keep it from burning on the top of the bread. cooking spray to spray my pan and I do the sides as well as the bottom and I've never had an issue of this bread sticking to my loaf pan and then the whole entire batter goes into one pan Our banana bread is finished and out of the oven. So we're just gonna let this cool for a little bit in the pan before we take it out and slice it up. And to know that your bread is finished, insert a toothpick and if it comes out clean, then it's finished. You can compost your banana peels. They are a great additive to your compost pile, your garden your vegetables, so don't, don't toss them. We're just gonna continue doing this to freeze the rest of our bananas in quart size freezer bags. And then once these are solid frozen, we can make ice cream out of them. Okay guys, we're back. It is a very, very busy week this week. We have soccer practice and we've got band practice. Even though it's in the middle of summer, this is what we do. So we have to repurpose leftovers the easiest way I know how and to make a quick meal. So let me show you what we're doing. So in this bowl, I have leftover mashed potatoes and one egg. And to that, I'm going to be adding some flour we're gonna turn this into what is called potato cakes. Then we're just gonna fry them in a skillet with a little bit of butter and have them with baked beans. I melt butter in my nonstick pan, wait for that to get somewhat hot. And I swirl them around a little bit to make sure that they are covered in butter on the bottom and that they are not sticking to the pan. Cook these for a few minutes on each side. You want them golden brown on both sides before you serve them. This is about how dark we want them. So we're gonna turn our burner off and then we're gonna serve these with baked beans. All right guys, and this is how we repurpose leftover mashed potatoes and beans for a very quick and fast supper right before practice.
Tonight we have another very busy night, so we're gonna take a packet of the brown gravy mix with a jar of our deer steak. And this has Montreal steak seasoning in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this into a pan, heat it up, and then make some brown gravy <laughs> and make kind of like a fake roast beef sandwich out of this. So I'll show you how to do that. Those white pieces are just fat from the processing. So we're just gonna dump this in. And it still smells really good. There we go. And then we're just gonna heat this up until it starts to boil and we'll let it boil for a few minutes. Into my other pot, I have one cup of cold water and then the packet of the brown gravy mix is gonna go right in here. And we're gonna stir this on medium heat and just let it thicken up until it comes to a boil. To assemble this, I have toasted two slices of bread and I'm going to scoop on a thin layer of the seasoned deer meat that we have. And guys, it really does just fall apart when you can it. It's so delicious this way. And then we take the brown gravy and we just drizzle it over the top. And this is delicious. This is a meal that comes together in under 10 minutes. When you're having those busy nights, this is one to pick from. All right, guys, and there it is. It's that simple. There's supper. Mm.